Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, our topic is partial fraction decomposition. And in this episode number two, we have a case number two, where the denominator contains the repeating factors. And here are some of the example, as you can see. And we call them repeating. Look at these, this den denominator example 2.1 x plus 4 power 2 could be written as x plus 4 times x plus 4. No wonder we call it they are repeating themselves. Likewise over here x minus 2 power 3 could be written as x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. That means it is repeating itself three times and one more thing that the degree in the numerator must be less than the degree in the denominator and as you can see in our examples the degree in the numerators is indeed less than the degree in their denominator and here is our very first example we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this rational expression so always focus on the denominator as you can see that over here our denominator is x plus 4 power 2 that means this is repeating itself twice that means we are going to put two fractions one and then plus one more always keep in your mind and the first one is going to be just simply x plus four only x plus four and the next one is going to be x plus four power two all right and then on the top is going to be a for the first fraction and b for the second and i will show you later on how to find a and b values and here is our next example once again we are going to focus on the denominator we got x minus 2 power 3 that means this denominator is repeating itself three times so i am going to put down three fractions one and then plus another one and then plus another one as i told you before we're going to start out with x minus two just power one only x minus two the next one as we go along we're going to just put one additional power so x minus two power two until we hit that maximum number that has been given to us so x minus two power three and now once again so where first we have x minus two then we have x minus two power two and then finally x minus two power three and on the top for fraction first fraction a for second b and for third fraction is going to be c and that is our answer and one more thing i will show you how to find a b and c later on all right no worries and now in the next example as you can see we have a x power three that means x is repeating itself three times and then we have another linear factors so this is the way we are going to do first let's look at only x power three that means we are going to have three fractions for that one all right let's do take care so x power 3 means first we start with x power 1 then we're going to do x power 2 and then x power 3 and now let's focus on the next linear factor x minus 3 so i'm going to put plus and then in next fraction i'm going to put x minus 3 at the denominator and now on the numerators for this first fraction is going to be a for the second is going to be b third is going to be c and for the fourth is going to be d and that is our answer 
And here is our next example. Once again, let's focus on our denominator. First factor is linear 1x plus 6. And the next one is the factor x minus 1 that is repeating itself twice. So that means this is the way I'm going to write down first. It's going to be for first one x plus 6 only. And then x minus 2 power 2 x minus 1 power 2 rather so we are going to have two more fractions all right so the first one is going to be x minus 1 power 1 and then x minus 1 power 2 so far so good and as far as the numerators are concerned we're going to have a, a on the top for first one b for the second and c for the third and here is our next example we have to be very careful this time when you look at the denominator as you can see among between these two powers x power 3 and x power 2 we can see that x power 2 could be easily factored out so this is what i am going to do first so this rational expression could be written as 3x plus 2 on the top is going to stay same we don't have to do anything on the top on the numerator and at the denominator x power 2 could be factored out i'm going to bring it down that is the very crucial step and we are left with only x minus 1 inside this parentheses and now as we can see that we have a x power 2 which that means it's repeating twice and then we have another linear factor x minus 1 that means we are going to put three fractions all together okay so i'm going to put three fractions separated by plus sign the first is going to be x power 1 then it's going to be x power 2 and then finally x minus 1 and on the numerator it's going to be a for the first fraction b for the second and c for the third fraction and i will show you how to find a b and c values later on and that is our answer and here is our final example once again let's focus on the denominator and we can see that we can easily factor out x so that means i can write this one this whole rational expression as 4 on the top divided by here if i factor out x outside so we left with simply x square plus 2x plus 1 inside the parentheses and let's focus now inside this parentheses we can see that this represents a perfect square here by just putting one square this has become x square plus 2x plus 1 square and we can use this fact it says a plus b square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square that means i can write this one simply 4 divided by x times x plus 1 square so far so good and now we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition and here we have a x one linear factor and then x plus one power two means it's repeating twice so that means i can write first fraction is going to be simply x at the denominator and for the next two fractions we are going to just simply put down x plus one power 1 and then it's going to become x plus 1 power 2 and now on the numerators on the top for first fraction is going to be a for the second one is going to be b and the third one is going to be c and i will show you how to find 
the value of A, B, and C later on, no worries. And thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.